Good morning. Normally with my castle slideshows, I put some music to them, but this one being slightly different and everything not being immediately obvious, I'm going to narrate this. These are cannonballs at Woolmer Castle, which are original. They are not copies. Woolmer Castle was built by Henry VIII in Woolmer Kent between 1539 and 1540 due to splitting from the Catholic Church in the Pope and expecting invasion from Catholic countries to try and reinstate the Catholic Church. The gardens were done by William Pitt the Younger, by well, most of them anyway. But what is interesting about this castle is the Duke of Wellington was the warden and his bed is here, his furniture, he died here and his uniform is here. And it really, really is interesting to see this history. The sad thing is, is that you can't take any pictures and he actually died here as well. He slept in a single bed here, in a single room. His wife only visited twice. However, when Wellington was here, the gardens were in a right old state. He wasn't interested. And he died here in September 1852. Now here you can see William the Pitt the Younger's orchard. He designed this orchard. Here you can see a gun port, which they put a window in. Here you can see cannons that you can see from the sea. Now the only time this fortress was taken was in 1645 during the English Civil War when it was occupied by the Royalist forces and was taken over by the Roundheads. And it's, it looks pretty formidable. And you can see here looking out across the English Channel, you can see all the cannons facing out to sea. These are real cannons, they are not replicas. Down below here you can see where the moat used to be. This was done by William Pitt the Younger because the castle wasn't deemed to be any use as a fortress. So the moat was removed and here they've actually put a walkway. Again you can see the cannon here all lined up and as I've said before they are real. They are not copies. I don't know whether the mountings or the cannon trailers as I would call them are real I do not know. But the cannons are. The wooden building is the last building added, that is a summer house. And again you can see the cannon facing out to sea. And here is a nice little walkway where you can sit in an alcove which used to be a gun port. Now down here in the 1920s Tennis courts were added to the moat areas. Obviously, not, they're not there now, but they are a really pleasant walkway. And here you can see the entrance to the artillery fortress. It is actually slightly tilted. Now, here is the Queen Mother's Garden built by English Heritage in 1997 as a 95th birthday present. That was when the Queen Mother was the Lord Warden. So the person that is actually in control and occupies this fort is called the Lord Warden. And you can see the Queen Mother's Garden is absolutely superb. It really is a pleasant place to sit. And here we are looking from the gardens down at the fortress. And the gardens are lovely. Yes, the ground is a bit dry because this is a drought of August 2022. And here again is William Pitt's garden. Now there you can see a gun port and what they've done as I've said is they've put windows there. Down here is the moat area. As I said there used to be tennis courts here. Parties here in the 20s. And you can see it really is. It's a beautiful place to visit. And it is so historic. And it's, it's so well preserved as well. Remember this was built during the time of Henry VIII. I've done some black and white pictures because I always think that castles look really good in black and white. I mean, imagine being here in the 20s on a summer's day playing tennis. I have just provided you with a brief history of this wonderful coastal artillery fort or castle. It really is worth visiting because it is so much depth here. There's so many Easter eggs here of history. It really is worth a visit especially for all the Duke of Wellington memorabilia. Thank you for watching this slideshow and I hope you've enjoyed it.